What's good, YouTube? I'm back. It's Hectic Reacts, and in this game, I got the Jets. And you know, when I get the Jets, I don't get the Jets, so I don't know what to do when I get the Jets. So, this game, um, I was playing the Raiders, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get a random team. And actually, I'm playing, I'm actually playing subscriber. So, I'm like, well, this is a perfect time to try out teams I don't really use when I play subscribers, because when I play subscribers, I expect to have fun. And that's normally what I do. You know, he asked me for a game. I was like, cool, I ain't doing nothing. You know, so let's get it in then. So, um, he rolled with the Raiders, and the Raiders are cool. And, um, when I play the Raiders, Darren McFadden is, like, so hard to contain. And a lot of people I play that get the Raiders don't even use him that much. They, they take the wrong approach when they get the Raiders. They're trying to be that five wide offense that spreads the field and takes you down. Just air attack. But that's not how you use the Raiders. You're supposed to... Play you with that fast defense, run that good man coverage, or you know, send them nanos, you know, get them sacks, force those throws. So, you know, you're standing back there with Stanford Route, Michael Huff, um, uh, Tyvon Branch, freaking Chris Johnson. You know, you're standing back there with them dudes getting those picks, you know, and they all got length. So, that's just, just, just own it, you know what I mean? And then. Uh, offense, you got Carson Palmer, who's a decent quarterback that won't mess up the throws all that much. And then you got Darren McFadden. Like, what more do you want? Right here, third and one, I got stuff. And then fourth and one coming up. I don't know why. I don't know. I kicked a field goal. Um, I, I don't know why I kicked a field goal, <laughs> but uh, I really don't do that. If it's fourth and one, I'm always going to go for it. But right here, I was just like, man, let me just kick this field goal, take my points. But... You know, I'm usually going to go for that every time. Don't know why I didn't right there. So this man, like, he started off running the ball. And give me that pick. Like, I, I don't think he thought I could pick that. I don't know. But thanks. But um, this game right here, um, he started off running the ball real good. I don't know why he stopped. But for a period of time, he just stopped running the ball. He was just like, no, I'm about to pass. Air it out. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, don't change your game plan. Like, that's another thing. Don't change your game plan. If it's not broke, don't fix it, you know. I'm not saying run the exact same play every single time because somebody will catch on eventually. But, like, if you have a scheme that's working, keep doing that scheme until he proves he can stop your scheme on a consistent basis. If he can't, just keep feeding it to him. And, you know, what's your place in telling me stop running something if you can't stop it? You know what I mean? So, right there, I get a nice... Nice catch with Plax in the back of the end zone. Plax with Burris is a monster on this game. The Jets are a good team to use. Plax go. San Antonio Holmes is wide open 80% of the time. Dustin Keller, beast. You know. And then their running back's good. Sean Green's a banger. Right here, you know, I'm acting cheesy trying to block his field goal. I was feeling cheesy this game, but no need to block his field goal because he just missed the field goal. 31 seconds left. Very next play. Plax. Give me that face throw. Um, down to the five. Next play, Plax, give me that fade route. Plax will burst, just put the team on the back, you know. So, right here, you know, about to go into halftime, and he's like, you know what, bench, give me that pick, son. That's Wilson, my boy, getting that pick, and I don't house this, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, coming out at halftime, he subbed in Terrell Pryor, and I didn't realize it, and he was just running all over the place on me. I was like, Carson Palmer can't run that fast. I look down, all I see is a black dude at quarterback. I'm like, whoa, that's Terrell Park. You know, I knew it was Jason Campbell. So Jason Campbell does not have, you know, that black person speed on that. I mean, he has 80 speed. And right here, he's trying to kick a field goal. Give me that. I blocked that. You know, being cheesy. You no, know, that's really not that cool to block people's field goals. But right there, I really didn't care. You know, right here, this play, I got a busted play. Sean Green over the top. And... Course, they're calling it back for holding. Anytime I get a spectacular looking play, it's always too good to be true because it always comes back for some odd violation that I didn't even realize I committed. First and 20, bam, Dustin Keller, face throw over the middle of the field. So you use big receivers, bam, face throw on second and 26 with Black Circle Burris. He goes down, but I don't really care. You know, attacking the flats, nowhere's nobody standing there. Dustin Keller, like, get off me, I'm a man child. I'm telling you, the Jets are raw in this game, like. Man 11, they were, they went ham. I'm not even gonna lie. Cause Man 11, Man 11, any team went ham, honestly. Cause the quarterbacks, in Man 11, the quarterbacks did not mess up the throws. In Man 12, these quarterbacks throw out of bounds. Like, you don't throw the ball out of bounds 
on a slant. Like, I don't know what Madden did to what the quarterback's accuracy, this dynamic player performance thing, but they just destroyed the quarterbacks. These quarterbacks are terrible in this game. Right now, I'm up 31-7, and, you know, I sent him a mercy, but he didn't want to take it. I don't blame him, you know, stick it out. Uh, it's never over, never quit, and he's he has no intention of quitting. Closing the gap at 14-31, so, you know, Right here, I throw a, a pick. Um, Jeremy Curley versus Chris Johnson. And then I got Mark Sanchez throwing the ball. So that's not complete accuracy. So that's just a dumb play by me. And he's still trying to run with Pryor. Like, what the heck? Fourth and 12. Bam. Look at that. On fourth down, that's when people's receivers come wide open and their quarterbacks have 99 accuracy and everything. Like, fourth down is where I get destroyed on. People, on third down, I'm a pretty good player on third down. I'll get you off the field on third down if you decide to punt. But people don't decide to punt that much. So that's another thing. Like, punt the ball. Like, you know when it's time to punt the ball. Punt the ball. Unless, you know, it's one of those situations where you can't punt the ball. The clock's going to run out. Or you're just going to lose. Right there. What was I doing? I just ran backwards like an idiot. Third and 16. Trying to go over the middle to Dustin Keller. Nope. Can't go to the well that many times. Two minutes left. He's only down by 10. This game is very winnable for him. You know, he's trying to win. You know, he's not giving up. And I don't blame him. First and ten, does a little play action, throws the ball, give me that pick with Smith. And that was basically the game right there. That killed all his momentum, that pick. And then I got a little nice, decent return, you know. So that was basically the end of the game. Um, just showing you guys a couple plays right here. I just ran the clock out on this drive. He ended up using his last timeout. Is it this play or that play? And then he sends me a message saying, I hate away games. I'm like, whoa. That's cool. Who doesn't hate away games? I, I know I hate away games. But, you know, this was a good game. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. You know, I posted a video yesterday. If you didn't see my video, go ahead, check it out. Because, well, look at that sad face. Oh, well. If you, don't see my, if you didn't see my video, go ahead, check it out. Um, you know, hectic reacts, you know, doing my thing, trying to keep these video posts down on a daily. Um, look at Mark Sanchez. He put in work. 63% completion. 284 yards and I don't understand why a field goal is, a, is the play of the game. This field goal is basically irrelevant. I just kicked the field goal on 4th and 1. I don't know how that's the play of the game. But, um, whatever. Uh, Rex Ryan jogging his fat self to the locker room. It's all good. You know, hectic reacts. I'm out. Peace. I love y'all. Have a nice night. I'm out.